This is Big South OVC football on ESPN Plus, and we are in rainy Cape Girardeau, Missouri, for a matchup today involving the Big South OVC and a member of the Southland Conference, the Demons from Northwestern State University. 68 degrees, light rain falling here at Hauk Stadium. I'm Eric Sean. Joined by Red Hawks Hall. He is the 16th head coach in school history for Northwestern State. His father, Sam, former head coach at UT Martin in the Big South OVC. We are underway here from Hawk Stadium as the Red Hawks will kick it off and the Demons will return it to the 18-yard line. Fayard to go up on top. That last catch made by Miles Kit Denton, and he will deploy to the right. In fact, Twin receivers that way. Play fake, Fayard back. Man in his face, throws it up for grabs and a leaping catch for a first down. And it was the tight end, Trey. Ball on these running plays. Uh, actually, that uh, pass play quarterback, Quaterius Hawkins, came in uh, to make that completion. Third down and seven, JT Fayard operating out of the gun with three wides. Straight back in the pocket, throws it over the middle. The ball dislodged. And the helmet of the receiver went flying as well. As flying in there was Kalani. That was Chance Newman, their 223-pound. Tight end, here's the punt. Kalani Riddick settles under it at the 20 on the run. And he's got daylight. He's out near the 40-yard line, cuts it back near to midfield. He is to the 40 and down to the 38-yard line. A terrific piece of Missouri State. The 13th ranked Red Hawks with great starting field position. They are at their own 30 or at the Demons 37. Here's DeLoren. Swings it out to Brown in the open field up the sideline. And he's shedding defenders and spinning his way to first down yardage. Peyton Brown, they had a chance. Southern Illinois last week for Simo. Great play by the defender that time. It was going to be a back shoulder a catch and he got his hands in there to break it up. Dorian Anderson is the Red Hawks leading receiver and he's in motion. Lines up as a slot. Backpedaling to Lawrence. Throws in the end zone for the touchdown. Cam Pedro a sliding grab right in the center of the end zone without a defender in sight. Well, the Red Hawks ran a clear out for him. They, they ran next into Lawrence. And here is the Red Hawks kicker, D.C. Pippen. Had one blocked last week, but this one is perfect. And Simo scores first, 9.03 to play. Red Hawks, three receivers as they move from right to left. They send a receiver in motion. Fayard rolls left, throws! Intercepted or nearly intercepted. I think that ball popped out. Boy, that was nearly a pick. Landon Sylvie. The freshman from down in Shreveport, Louisiana. And seven to go. Red Hawks will deploy two receivers to the left, one to the near side. That's Pedro who caught the touchdown. He's in motion. And they swing it to him in the left flat. He's got blockers in front of him. And he's got the first down across midfield. All the way to the 38-yard line of the Demons. Well, look like the Demons will... Return this one just shy of the 20-yard line. They will be cut down near the 17. Deploys his tight end in motion to the right. Long snap count, hands it to the tailback, going nowhere, and the Red Hawks are going to take over. Tried to run it right up the middle and right into the awaiting arms of Nassim Caro and Camp, or I should say seven. Daryl Smith stays in the football game. Simo five of seven on third down. DeLoren goes and throws it low again, and Anderson is going to be wrapped up at the 42-yard line, and it's going to be fourth down in a couple. So receiver five wides for DeLoren. They rush five. He scrambles to the left. He is going to tuck it and run, and he will step out near the 35-yard line. So DeLoren picks up the first down, and you'll notice he's got a brace on his left shoulder. He has banged that. So the Red Hawks will lose an offensive lineman, and they've lost two running backs. 
And this is the third running back, Daryl Smith, and he's grabbed by the ankles, and a penalty marker comes in after this play is concluded. It looks like the official to this line of scrimmage. So you've got a team facing first and 40. You commit a penalty to give them an automatic first down. That uh, is frustrating, I'm sure. There goes Daryl Smith. And he'll be taken off of his feet after he works his way to the third. And to the left, now back to the right. And once again, it's Smith, the birthday boy, diving for the first down. Sticks, and he got just enough. Well, that offensive line now for the Red Hawks, getting that running game going. A little bit uh, slow with the 15-yard line. Smith in motion. Daryl Smith gets the call, and second effort is going to get him close. But the far official where he was running in, I think Smith is short. Yeah, the officials are signaling fourth down, so you have to think that the Red Hawks. Jenks, Oklahoma, won a couple of state championships with the Jenks Trojans. Here is the handoff, and getting the push was Smith, and he got it easily. And the Red Hawks convert their second fourth down on this drive. That's quite a massive. Simo five of nine on third down today. Four receivers for DeLaurent. They rush four. DeLaurent airs it out toward the goal line. Knocked away. He's trying to pass some of these guys open, Rick, but they're, they're not open. I mean, so D.C. Pippen is on the field. 36-yard field goal right down the middle. And D.C. Pippen has extended the lead, his second field goal today. And with 7.14 to play before halftime, Simo has a 10-0 lead on Northwestern State, Big South OVC. What have we seen pop off yeah, here? You wonder sometimes if they've really got those chin straps on tight. So Fayard is back in. He's got running backs on both hips. Back to throw. Goes deep down the middle over everybody's head. Red Hawks had two defenders, but. So Simo's offense back to work here with 5.48 to play. Before halftime, DeLorean throws the right seam, and he's got Mitchell Sellers. And he's across the 40 to the 41 yard line. That's. Engage the scoreboard coming up at the half. In the meantime, third down and one. Gibbs Smith, he's got the first down and more, spinning his way to the 29. That's an 11. Third down and one at the Demons 20 yard line. Three receivers for DeLoren, gives it to Smith up the middle. He didn't get it. And it's fourth and one upcoming for Simo. Give that Northwestern State defense a little credit. Well, do the Red Hawks risk putting the ball in the belly? Attempt. They scored a touchdown on their opening drive, and they have not gotten in the end zone since. So here is D.C. Pippen, 32-yarder, and he missed it. Well, Simo like pays the price for not being able to get the ball into the end zone. Yeah, that looked like a uh, bad or I don't know if it was a bad snap, but I think they'll be happy just to uh, go in at halftime. Yeah, I think you're right. They hand it off to Zay Davis. And as he bangs off left guard, he'll go down after a gain of about three. Demons have all three timeouts. It doesn't look like they're going to spend them. And that's going to take us to halftime. So Simo's offense has been slowed down by an aggressive demon defense here today. They have held Simo to three field goal attempts, and the shortest of all three field goals did not make it through the uprights. So the Red Hawks with a 13-0 lead. I believe they came. But again, Lindenwood up 21-17 at Eastern Illinois. In the fourth quarter, pass play down the middle, and there is a leaping catch by Tristan Smith. And they're trying to strip him of the football, and they're unable to do it. And he'll be finally brought to the turf near the 33. Big play. Rated by ESPN coming out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. On third down, a pass play over the middle. And once again, it is Tristan Smith still on his feet down to the 10-yard line.
Boy, that was an exciting run filled with... They go with a four-receiver package here. Steps to the pocket. Over the middle he goes, and it's Smith. And the ball pops out. Are they calling it incomplete or a fumble? It looks like they are calling it a fumble. I think they're going to look at that one, and there's a flag on the play. Yeah, I don't Caesar sure. McGee was the one who came up with the loose ball. Uh, by the replay, I'm not sure he had com complete. Uh, you, it's an incomplete pass. And when you say poked it away, it was before he was able to secure it. So right. yeah. So here's what I think is going to happen now. Remember, they had refused that penalty on Tyler McMillan, who was flagged. And it's third down and seven. Fayard. Three-step drop over the middle he goes, and he's got his man, and it's going to be close. Close to the first down. Kennard King. In it. Running any more offensive plays. DeLorence, 17 of 35, 198 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Play action. He'll throw it to the right seam. He's got Dorian Anderson, and he's got a first down from shotgun. DeLorence. Over the right seam again, near the 40-yard line, and the pass is complete. There were plenty of white jerseys there. Anderson in motion. Red Hawks 7 of 15 on third down. He wings it to the near sideline, and getting a piggyback ride, Dorian Anderson made the catch, but he's short of the first down. Receivers to the left of the formation. Quick drop, quick pass, and it's wide of the mark. He was trying to get it to Miles Kid Denton, who has three touchdown receptions, including a 75 yarder this on end zone. There's the kick. And this one is short, fielded by Riddick, and he's on the run, and he'll be dragged down at about the 38. We've got a timeout on the field. Simo with a 16 none. Daryl Smith are both in the backfield. Dorian Anderson in motion, and they throw it to the Running back Rubel, and he's got the first down as he's pushed out near the 21. Cole Rubel with his down. Mitchell Sellers in motion. He's been a third down option this year for Paxton DeLoren. And he throws it toward the sideline. Underthrown. Some contact. Do not see a penalty flag. Or today, this one from 37. Adam Heston, the holder. And the kick is wide to the left. Second miss of the day for Pippen. Red Hawks have had five field goals on second down and four. From their 43, he's going to throw, and he does to the right seam. And he's got his man, the six foot seven inch Trayvon Jones, his third reception. Jones back on third down and six. There's the snap. Hawkins scrambling left. Stops, throws low, the catch is made, and the Red Hawks with gang tackling right where the catch was made. Back. Fourth down for the Demons. Hawkins scrambling, hit, down he goes. He did not get there. In to help out on the tackle, Jeremy Walton for the Red Hawks. Game. Simo's had gained the Demons today, 320 to 103. Inside give, it is Smith, there he goes, across midfield and grinds out yardage all the way to the Northwestern State 41-yard line. So a, a nice day. Gets the call again. And he is carrying the mail here on this Saturday on Family Weekend. What was the same? Red Hawks out of the pistol. Two receivers left, one to the right, and again it's Smith running left. He's got the first down and more as he runs over one of the demon defenders and is pulled to the turf. Hawks will go with both running backs in the backfield. And it's going to be a fake, and it will be Paxton DeLorean taking it himself, and it will take a knee after he gets the first down. Got to be careful with from the 14-yard line. Three receivers for DeLorean. They will hand it to Smith. Bangs inside the 10, still on his feet, and he'll be pulled down at the five-yard line. Walk it down and one. Upcoming, and they hand it to him again, and he's cut down just shy of the goal line. From the one-yard line, Daryl Smith is on the left hip of Paxton DeLorean. 
Hand off Smith up the middle, and he's not going to make it. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Second and goal. One touchdown pass today. DeLaurent will not take the snap. It's Ruble on a direct snap, and he dives for the goal line, and he is short. So, option of their first possession of the day. Third and goal from the two. Hand off to Errol Smith. Penalty markers are down as Smith carries a tackler into the end zone. Down. Full start. Offense number 45. Five yard penalty. They are calling a false start on tight end Andrew Sibby. If he stays in there, we may see the same, same play. So it'll be third and goal from the six. Backpedaling to Lauren. Swings it out to Rubel, who drops the ball. And the Red Hawks will bring their field goal kicker in for this. This day is three for five. 25-yarder, and that one is through. And the Red Hawks extend the lead 19-0 on their sixth field goal attempt of the day. Two receivers left, tight end to the right. Hawkins, play action, naked boot to the left, throws it low, a sliding attempt. And they're going to say that Twan High. Third down and three. They're one for nine on third down. And nothing shaken on the handoff. Simo says the ball came out and they have it. And the side. Third down and two. This is Rubel getting the call. Sidesteps a defender and he's loose to the 40 and out to the 45. 17 yard run for for the demons and it's third and 14 as cole rubel navigates off right tackle and he's still on his feet galloping his way into demon territory to the 45 yard line and that should be enough for a first down now some jaw jacking on the simo side years and there's a knee and that's a wrap from Hawk Stadium. Simo improves to four and one, sends the Demons to 0 and five. And the two head coaches will head to the center of the field for the post game handshake. Coach McCorkle and Coach Matukowitz. Simo has won it by a final count of 19 nothing. And we want to thank our ESPN Plus crew for their great work today.